All right, everyone. Hey, I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for watching this video. I'm hanging out with Andrew Steele and we're over here at a uh, Hightail Custom Coach Works and they're doing a flexible conversion. And uh, I'm a big fan of flexibles. I watched uh, Jay Lano's Mechanic has one that he did a restore on years ago on YouTube and I've always kind of sought after one. I found one on Craigslist one time, but I'm not ready to jump into a project like this. This is like trying to restore a 57 Chevy Bel Air except for a 40 foot motorhome and I don't have a big enough rotisserie to turn this bad boy. But uh, I'm gonna give you a walk around on the outside and then I'll put a link below to the two videos that Andrew's done on the interior of it and the stages that it's going through. And Andrew may not be here at the end so when this coach is all done. So I'm gonna shoot a video of it when it's all completed but uh, for today, I'm just going to kind of give you some exterior shots. And then, like I said, I'll tag a link in there so you can watch the stuff that Andrew and I have shot earlier today. And then his walkthrough with uh, Aaron here at Hightail Coachworks doing the conversion. So this is really cool. You'll notice here that it actually looks like it's a stainless, but that's all custom highlights. So it's perfectly flat. Nice uh, curb porch lighting here in the LEDs. So on a flexible, you don't really end up with an inverter bay or any of that. So in this very back compartment is where you end up putting, we got two SW3012s in here, one on the top, another one here, and then some uh, lithium batteries and the house disconnects and what have you on this side and some monitoring. And then over on the other side, you'll see that's the back side of the air filter and just below that, is gonna be a propane water heater for continuous water. And then these wires are his pre-wire that he's got coming in for the solar panels. Now this is going to have a 5.9 liter Cummins in it. You'll have the generator, an LP65, and the transfer switch, and then your 50 amp circuit breaker there, and an outlet there. And then this is going to be where your short cord reel is down here in the bottom. Sorry about that lighting. sewer drain right here looks like your fresh water filler drain propane tank maybe with this lighting really show you the highlights of what he's done here how you've got the white color and then the dark color and then it just continues on Beautiful coach. I really like the screen. That way when you're cruising down the road with the window open, you don't end up with a bee sitting in the lap with you. I mean, wet sand and polish is smooth as glass. You put some ceramic coat on this thing, it's going to be popping. Beautiful polished emblem here in the front. And then we got the Dodgers right now, and that rolls through different scenes. It's all lit, and then you've got a camera up here in the very front center. Again, got the old vent, reminds me of a cab over semi truck, getting some fresh air coming in as you're ripping down the road.
So this is a beautiful conversion going on here at Hightail Custom Coach Works. We'll come over here, show some of this woodwork, the radius bends. And like I said, check out Andrew's video and the two of them that he's got. One is already up and the other one's coming out. And uh, you'll get a tour of the inside of it. And I'll do a tour of the outside of it. But uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. Just wanted to shoot this quick little six, seven minute video. Take you on a tour. We'll get you out more often. Show you all the good stuff. But thanks again. I hope you're all enjoying these videos. Comment below what you think. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Till next time. Bye-bye.